know, uh, good afternoon, Dr. Is not, not so good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, start, start with the say, saying hello. So, hi, I, this is uh, Hansel Guan from Samsung Medical Center, and uh, working with uh, Dr. Sung Yeop Che, and also Samsung Medical Center, Tech Yuba. And so actually, we are the, the team of the, the Tavi here, so we are many helping people help us uh, to do the procedure. Dream team in your hospital. <laughs> yeah, I'm dreaming okay. I'm the sleepy. <laughs> okay, Dr. Okay, Chen. We are yeah, the Dr. Uh, Grube and yeah. uh, Pam Gyeong yeah. and uh, Dr. Finkelstein yeah. and uh, the other uh, panelists are here. Yeah. Please keep going on. Okay. Yes, uh, today's case uh, is very uh, interesting case. Uh, bifurcate, uh, bi uh, bicuspid out belt. Uh, 79 years old female is uh, suffering uh, from uh, intermittent dizziness occurred uh, seven uh, months ago. So ST score and logistic score are a little bit uh, lower. And but uh, actually, uh, bicuspid uh, echo showed the bicuspid aortic belt with a mild to moderate uh, AS 10 years ago, uh, which progressed uh, to severe uh, AS now. Mean uh, gradient is 81 uh, millimeter mercury, and our valve area is 0 0.71 uh, centimeter square. Uh, annulus uh, diameter uh, is 21 millimeter in a TTE. Next. So CT uh, measurement shows the annulus uh, area is uh, 392 millimeter square. It's uh, driven uh, diameter is 22.3 uh, uh, millimeter. Perimeter is uh, 71 millimeter. Driven uh, diameter is 22.7 uh, millimeter. Next. Now you can see here the uh, type of the bicuspid is the type zero, no lafe. So and a uh, uh, little bit uh, classified classification is located in the two uh, leaflet, but uh, we don't uh, any uh, find out uh, any uh, calcium chunk. Next. Height of the coronary artery is uh, more than uh, 13 millimeter. It's enough to uh, imply impl uh, successful implantation of artery valve. Next. Uh, next. So peripheral angio uh, show the no uh, stenosis and quite a uh, larger uh, diameter uh, during the uh, TAVI procedure. Next. Coronary angiography shows no uh, significant stenosis in both uh, coronary artery. So we measure the annulus uh, perimeter by the CT angio. And you can see here uh, area oversizing is, uh, uh, if we uh, choose the 23 millimeter sapiens 3 valve, just 3.6% uh, over, uh, oversizing. And what, uh, if we do the one mil uh, over, uh, uh, Overloading and 97% uh, percent, uh, oversizing. Okay, this is uh, basically uh, not so severely calcified, moderately calcified bicuspid valve with the severe artery stenosis in patient in the female patient, the 79 years old. It's a so very exciting case for the uh, bicuspid uh, the aortic valve <coughs> disease. The, is there any comment from the panel? It's a uh, really exciting and actually. May I ask about the order about the uh, body stature, height and the weight? Yeah. And height and weight, please. One small size key. of the female patient or not? No. One, 158 uh, centimeter height, weight. Yeah, 58, mother size, not small. Okay, okay any other comment? I, I just did a short question. Yeah, I, I wonder whether you mentioned that the measurement was in the annulus height right. or, yeah. or upper than that. Yeah, that's the dis major discussion point for this patient actually. So uh, the slide previ uh, here, uh, Kojan, previous one? Yeah, I know. Uh, annulus for you. Okay, here. So there is a, uh, I, if I, uh, I have, I have a not, we have not experienced many bicuspid mm -hmm. valves, yes. but uh, the Sapien, when I deployed the Sapien valve, actually, we uh, prefer the full size measurement of uh, annulus. And when we do the core valve, so company told us that uh, we measure the four millimeter, eight millimeter above the annulus, and the measure the intercommissural distance and uh, uh, the, the sizing is uh, the based on the that measurement. So 
But uh, so I like to ask that, the why is the measurement strategy so different between two valves? The, of course, one is self-expanding, one is believe expandable. Uh, it's a difference. So, and uh, I think if calcification is not so severe like this patient, the, even the bicus valve, we don't uh, need to care about the, the undersized or the superior uh, implantation. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I like to ask it about, the, the, especially Dr. Grube and the, all the specialists, the experts, to uh, to tell me how to <laughs> uh, decide the size. I think right now there is no specialist because <laughs> we, are, we are learning we are learning a lot about bicuspid valves and. To be quite honest, we have a lot of diverging opinions yep. about this. I don't know who's right uh, or who is maybe not so right. Um, being a little bit more in China in these days, we learn a lot about bicuspid valves with heavy calcifications. Yep. Yep. Um, and as you know, um, Hangzhou does this stepwise ballooning um, with, uh, with balloon sizing in order to find the right, um, the right valve size. Me personally, I believe um, you know, that we have Touching to understand right. the anchoring uh, structures in bicuspid aortic stenosis is not the annulus, it's actually the leaflets. And <clears throat> that means that for, if you use a sapien or, uh, or, or a core valve, whatever valve you're using, you have to implant high. So uh, what that, about that just depend on the severity of uh, calcification or not? Regardless of the calcification, yeah, that's, I, I, that's not so massive here, right, if, if I've seen this correctly. What type is it? It's type no zero. zero. Yeah, so Deal yeah. bicuspid. Yeah, bicuspid, no rapé, but calcification is not uh, that significant, severe in this patient. If the calcification was much more uh, significant and dense calcification, then the outcomes are not as good as uh, probably in this patient. You would have better results, I think, because of lack of calcium. The sizing, I think, still, we, we don't like oversizing, just 0%, uh, uh, almost 0% oversizing for the uh, Sapien Bell. But positioning is uh, a, little bit higher. A, a little bit higher. Yeah. We should go higher. Well, you. Usually, in for the bicuspid valve, we try to the, the higher yeah. implantation. Right. right. May I ask about the, the why did you select the, the Sapien 3 in these cases, particularly in the yeah. type 0 uh, bicuspid yeah. valve? Well, mostly because of the horizontal, the angle of the valve, uh -huh. so it's easier to control the the, uh, the direction of the valve with the Sapien, Sapien 3. Uh, but uh, the, uh, the, uh, in regard to the, the size itself, is uh, this is uh, the bicus valve, and actually the selection of the the Sapien three is a uh, small sizing, it's just yeah. the uh, twenty three. So if you yeah. deploy the in the twenty three, in the uh, bicus valve, actually the uh, achievement of the the valve size is much more smaller. So, Do you uh, think in so? such kind of cases, maybe uh, I'd like to the, uh, consider the, the formation of the valve structure is uh, more supraenolar. Yeah, so I'm still the, learning that uh, the issue you suggested. Uh, so, core valve and uh, sapien valve in the same patient, core valve will have a larger effective or EOA. Really? Is that true? I, I think that uh, that is still debatable. I mean, right. What do you think yeah. uh, about uh, one versus the other core valve has more? Yeah. No, I think uh, to be to be honest, I think you can do it with both. I mean, we've yeah, seen right. this, and right. uh, it's personal preference, experience. If you don't, if, I mean, yeah, sure. you can argue yeah. you can argue about this valve or that valve. I know uh, Samsung implants uh, has a lot of experience with the, with the Sapien, so. It's very comfortable. The only thing that I would not do in bicuspid valve is oversize. Oversize, uh, right? Maybe he's doing this because I'm still a little bit afraid of of, uh, of the rafe, particularly with right. no rafe. Yeah. The intercommissural distance. Yeah. I don't know exactly what that is. 
So, uh, yeah, usually in Safian Belt recently we are targeting the about 10% oversizing, but uh, we prefer to go to a 0% mm -hmm. oversize for yeah. this patient. So, so, so Dr. Guan, are you using a balloon at all? Yeah, I think the calcifications are not so severe, so I better not, not avoid ballooning. Do, do you recommend uh, ballooning for this patient? No, I'm just wondering about sizing, that's why. <laughs> oh, yeah, sizing. So balloon sizing, this is uh, this another issue I like to learn, that uh, to put the balloon, there is uh, some leak or there's no leak. It's the indication of the sizing of the belt. So I was not sure. I'm still learning about that. We all are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually, I prefer not to pre dilate because the calcium is not so severe. No calcium, especially in the rafe, because there is no rafe for this patient. So uh, I just uh, put the uh, valve a little bit higher than usual, but 0% uh, oversizing. The, but the issue here is that the actual wire positioning is very difficult. I, you, you, you saw that I lost the wire during the presentation, but still the best position we can get is here, going upward. You, you will do uh, the direct stenting in this case? Yeah, direct Yeah, direct stenting. It's uh, some, uh, some different cases, but uh, if it is a tricuspid belt, yeah. maybe okay, yeah. the direct stenting is okay. But yeah, right. this is a bicuspid belt, and yeah. the belt area is uh, 0.7. It's uh, some challenging yeah. uh, dilation. D Dr. Grube, can you uh, tell me how, what is better, what is not? What is the type of the guide wire? Guide wire, uh, safari. Now you are introducing the safari wire. Safari wire, right. Okay. So positioning is uh, quite, there's a pigtail. What, what the coronary height? Coronary 13. Wire to the middle. Okay. okay. Uh, if it is available, please okay. Okay. show us uh, the, the hemodynamic monitoring on the screen rather than the yeah. slide. Yeah, hemodynamic. On the screen. Okay. So chamber size is small. Always it's challenging. Yes, that was it. Dr. Yeah. Uh, this is Eric. Hi. Yeah. Hi. 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 Uh, you know, I'm just sitting uh, close to to a good friend of ours that few years ago, yeah. when he started to talk about Tavi without predilatation. Yeah. Okay, I swear to God, better. I wanted to kill him. Yeah. And we all, no, I'm, <laughs> we all looked at him like crazy. And since then, all the rest is history, and the vast majority of cases in the world today are being done without predilatation. But if you have another look on the injection to the aortic root, can you show us this? Yeah, and your, and your play. Now, in this very special case, I'll consider Yep. Very rarely, I admit, uh, a balloon inflation. Yep. Just because, in spite of the fact that you say again and again that there is no huge calcification, yep. there is a piece of calcium there in the left corner of sinus yep. that when this is inflated, it's going to be pushed to the left corner of sinus. And I would like okay, to so see I, the way I'm it learning and the, if yeah. a panel yeah. and you recommend a balloon, balloon, I can Test do it. that. Test it with a pre dilation in the boom. So, to the predilation? Yes, please. Okay, we can do that. So, uh, balloon is not you are so generous. <laughs> First, Firstly, uh, we okay. have to check the... Uh, huh? uh, check the what? Pacemaker. Uh, pacemaker, yeah. Okay, we predilate when the balloon is ready. Predilation? We, we didn't pre prepare... Predilation, prepare. please, do we, toward the angiogram. Yeah, yeah, right. We didn't prepare the balloon, but uh, oh, we, we didn't check the pacemaker before. So... Uh, Okay. Is it pacer? Pacer on? Pacer on. 180. Pacer on? Uh, no, Stop. No. Uh, there is the two to, one, 2 to 1 block. The 150. Okay. Pacer on? Pacer on. 
for the case of the live demonstration, uh, uh, really. your case is uh, so challenging and exciting. So 130. Uh, I think that, uh, we learn uh, a lot of the message of yeah. the, the, uh, this Stop. procedure. Facing is not, not stable. No, not stable. Yeah, increase to 180. 180. 180까지 올려. 쭉 올려. 올려. Mm. 아니, stop. 130에서 레이트를 올리라. 여기겠네. 안 들어가? Uh, let's check the position of the uh, face maker. Yeah, stop. start. On. On. Okay, okay. Stop. Yeah. Yes, so the pacemaker is pulled out a little bit. There's tension is there. Okay. It's balloon. Okay, this is balloon. What size? Tw uh, what size? 20? Yeah, tw negative zone. Okay. Let's <sighs> go. I'm very happy that the, the, the wire position is stabilized. I still pushed wire. Mm -hmm. I don't like to lose the wire again. Okay. Injection준비. You need a little pullback. Yeah. Of the sure. Balloon. Sure. Sure. Okay. So okay. Here. What's the balloon size? Twenty. Twenty. 20. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Face around. Inflate. Angel. Angel. Inject. Angel. Angel. Okay. Where is see, the exactly inflate? that's what it is. Yeah. You're sealing with so the 20 now. Stop, stop. Face her off. Okay, pull out the balloon. Where is the, the tip of the, the calcium? You have yeah. to compare the, the tip of the calcium in the osteum of the reptile. Yeah, actually, I didn't look at the angel. <laughs> <laughs> Give me time to look at the angel. <laughs> OK, stop. Yeah, play. Pretty sure play. it's uh, the angiogram once yeah, right. again. It's a no, uh, no, uh, E, no AR, right? So 20 isn't good enough. So we start with the underfill. Yeah. Hmm? Huh? 20 to 해가지고. One pill on so the side. So what's the recommendation? So uh, this is 20 balloon, and we selected the inevitably 23 belt. So do you recommend the underfill? What size? Uh, 23 uh, belt. This is a 20 balloon. Sapphire belt, 23. So you know, put, the, put problem, the screen. The, uh, the problem slide. with the 23 yeah. is, uh, and I'm not an extensive Sapien user, but uh, the, the, the opening area of the 23 is just borderline. And yeah. I, I think, I, I don't know, but I would, um, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just following. Dr. Leon's recommendation when I moderated a live case yeah. that he did, he actually um, did not use it, even though they use Sapien a lot. Sapien. Because he's not happy with the, with the opening area of the 20 and the 23. So mm -hmm. I leave it up to you. Uh, you know, you have more experience. <laughs> you can't, uh, <laughs> this, the area is unfortunately 379, uh, which I think 26 will be too so, big one, for one. one, one yeah. Yeah. I, I prefer, I decided to uh, go one millimeter underfill, no, if you like, yeah, okay. so, so and we see what's happening afterwards. So, Dr. Wong, here, everybody, I mean, I don't know, but mm -hmm. they use a 23, right, here, yeah. the panel? Yeah. Yes. One other thing, Dr. Guan, we were just talking aerial, and I was saying that uh, whether yeah. we should protect yeah. the coronaries. Right. What do you think? I worry about that. Uh, actually, coron sinus was... Uh, large and that there was no severe calcification yeah. in the left side and the uh, coronary height was uh, 13. Yeah, lifle is okay. bulky as you know, so okay. lifle size is an uh, issue here. Turn on. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. The cranial. We want to see uh, you are uh, excellent at the uh, region. <laughs> I hope yeah. the, the cranial. Do you want to 
protection the left corner yeah. in by guide wire or the, the crane, yeah. Okay, here. Actually, we discussed about the protection right coronary rather than left coronary because there was a calcium in front of the right coronary artery, very close to the right coronary artery. Okay. But uh, we did. Huh? While, while the angiogram during the ballooning, uh, I, I don't see the right coronary. Really? Did you, yeah. did you check it? Oh, really? Hmm. Just high. Yeah, hmm? when you deflate so the balloon, the right coronary appears. It's because the uh, balloon is up. The, the top of the, the calcium is yeah. above the, the osseum of the left main. Yeah, but uh, there is a space, and that yeah. actually that calcium right, is right, right. Uh, far from the left coronary in CT and geography. If there is the right some space, is, uh, maybe I think it's okay because the uh, balloon is so higher than uh, uh, the uh, bicuspid valve over the located just uh, RCAO. So, but this uh, balloon expandable be uh, uh, valve is up below mm. the uh, <laughs> right coronary. What do you think? So, anybody can help me to the, the guide the wire the right coronary artery? Yes, so maybe because uh, of the balloon, or maybe because of the calcium post to a right coronary artery. So when the screen, slide on the screen, please. I'll go, slide to the screen, please. Go on slide, and go. Slide on the screen. Right coronary height by CT. Yeah, yeah, 13. Slide screen, and go on the screen. Look, Dr. Guam. Andrew, Mark, slide. Look. Main slide. Main. Main slide. Main is more useful. Main. Yeah, thirteen point four. Slide. Cousin slide. John. John. Yeah. Okay. Here, as you can see here, in the right, in front of right coronary artery, there was a calcification. Left side, it was in the non-coronary side. Calcification, so we don't worry about the left side. But right side, calcium is close to uh, right coronary artery, so that's what I worry. So, do you think we need uh, the wire inside the cor right coronary artery? Yeah, when in doubt, wire. Yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, you yeah. know the the length of this piece of calcium. Mm. Yeah is definitely longer than the distance to the coronary. Right. No doubt about it. Yeah, I doubt now, it. Now, the only question is whether yeah. it's going to be exactly in front of the coronary or not. Mm. And I don't think that in those days we have to take a chance. Yeah. The take patient chance, is stable. Not the wire? And I would, uh, I would put the wire in the coronary. Yeah, uh, sure. Just to make yeah, sure, I even thought so. though that that's there is a very right. good yeah. chance that nothing right. will happen. I thought so. Why so uh, I puncture right. left left again. Both side. We need another access to uh, wire the left coronary. So, yeah, uh, I decide. It's to do And you here, Johnny. Good. Okay. So I, I decided to uh, guide wire, put in the, the right coronary. Can you get it? What is it here? <laughs> so, uh, to be frank, yesterday uh, the, I was told that the, the several experts in the Sapien Belt uh, that discussed about uh, the fate of RCA, but uh, they thought that the coronary sinus is large enough to negotiate the calcium in the right coronary artery. Uh, Dr. Uh, Grube, I'd like to ask yeah. that this... Uh, 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 Dr. Dr. Grube, uh, 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 okay. Uh, but uh, but uh, 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 요 정도 잡기. 네, 빼시는 거. 네, 잡기. 요 정도. 오케이. 준비. 준비. 준비.
오케이. 페이스 아, 네. 갑니다. 누가 마이크 컨트롤 누가 하고 계세요? 페이스 업, 페이싱 업. 지금 박진희 yeah, 선생님 연락하고 있습니다. 인플레이트. 아, 높다. 아, 괜찮아요. 프로페서 체, we are checking whether something is ready. I'd like to see it. 페이스 업. 스토어 됐어? 스토어. 시내 찍었기 때문에. 아, 시내. 뽑자, 와이어 넣어. 오, 잘된것 같아. 와이어 넣어, 와이어 넣어, 와이어 넣어. 와이어 넣고. 네. We can, we can, he, we can hear the, the Dr. Yeah. Bond's voice. Yeah. Welcome back, Please and we just the, change the, the yeah. Actually, the company uh, protocol uh, <coughs> indicates that uh, uh, we we need good. to put the stand within 20 minutes after insertion. So we couldn't wait. So just just put the we put the previous one right side yeah. alone. Right side alone. Okay. So we put the stent inside the right coronary artery. So a little bit higher implantation with the one millimeter on the field with a 23. So a little bit higher, you can see that, right? So there is no indication of ST elevation in the right coronary. During the inflation of the, the Sapien 3, there is a, some ST elevation in the oh. no, no, inferior no, no. reader. No, no, no ST elevation. And the still, we, if you can see the EKG on the screen, Blood pressure and EKG on the screen. Small please. screen, please. PIP. Hemodynamics. Hemodynamics, PIP, please. Good. No, please not yet. Remi remind the, the what, what size is the Sapien 3, 23? 23, 1 millimeter on the field. On the field. Right. Okay. It's about 3%, 5%, 5% undersized. Undersized. Okay. Excellent. Check, okay. Check so you, you cannot, you don't see. The, uh, okay. the ST elevation here. Uh -huh. So let me check the coronary. Coronary, yeah? yeah pigtail. Pigtail wire is actually, I'm not sure, is tangled with the guide wire? Okay, yeah. it's not. Okay. 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 So usually I check, uh, can, uh, actually, coronary artery should be checked first, mm. right? Yes. So uh, actually, Coronary artery position was a little view. It's quite tricky, and uh, we tried the joking left first, the uh, first time. But we changed the AL1. Coronostium is above the valve actually. Test. Wait. No, no, no. test. Coronary test. It should be okay. Test. No, no, no. This is uh, some exciting cases, so we are yeah. learning from the, your case. Okay. Right, yeah, I'm learning okay. to test. Keep going on. Test. Mm. <laughs> Coronary. Time. Time, right? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing now? Jimbi? I try to inject coronary. Should? Yeah. Anyway, we White can coronary. see the clear, you can see the, the, the osteum coronary. It's above the valve. That's what I learned is that uh, I don't trust the valve pre <laughs> balloon sizing and the, during the balloon right coronary angiography. Now I learned that it's uh, not trustworthy. Okay. What okay. to say? <laughs> okay, I removed the guiding catheter anyway. Mm -hmm. But uh, to be frank, at the first, uh, oh. no? Yeah. Actually, parallel is much longer than. Right, but much longer, and the balloon can obstruct the coronary artery. Uh, that's what I learned for sure in, by this case. But uh, initially, I planned uh, the wire, the right coronary, because that is calcium. This, uh, I, I thought it's a good choice. Okay, T, please. Before the T, what about the, the angiogram, altogram? The altogram first. Mm -hmm. You want it? And then. Yeah, usually my practice, my usual practice is uh, check the check the PVL through the echo, and if it's okay, I removed all the device, then check the angel. But the, for this purpose, I a live demonstration. I you touch up? Yeah. Please show the us the screening yeah. rather than the echo. Yeah. Angiogram on the screen. Okay. okay. Let's check the angel. Should. Yeah. Mild PBL. Mm. Echo, please. Excellent. Echo, 
Yeah. yeah. I think this is an excellent implant. I have to say, it's yeah. it's a perfect uh, height. It's a little, it's a little higher than a tricuspid. It's right. it's very well done. You have right. enough, right. you have enough room for the coronaries. The only thing, uh, Dr. Guan, that I yeah. probably be a little bit careful yeah. when you park the the coronary catheter in the ascending aorta, and you really do have a problem, then it's going to be very difficult to reintubate. So yeah, right. what we usually do, we keep the wire, we keep, I'm sorry, we, keep, we wire it, and then we keep the catheter um, in the ostium or very oh, close yeah. to the ostium so oh, we don't really? just, don't have to go around yeah. the wire. But beautiful, I think actually, uh, in this Animal case, right. actually a stent was inserted rather than balloon. Yeah. So all I have to do when the coronary artery is occluded is to pull out the stent that will, uh, Actually, yeah. that well, is easier, have, easier than the... I, not uh, quite, because you have to take care... Oh, I'm sorry. Eric, go ahead. Yeah. I, I, I want to add uh, one Short comment. Axis. Regarding what Eberhard just Short said. Uh, Dr. Guam, this is definitely really a perfect implantation. You can argue Still, still The only, I the only some, remark I have, yeah, yeah. and it's from Hello. experience, you know, bad experience, that when you pull the catheter from yeah. the right with the stand, yeah. if the ostium of the right corner it would yeah. have been pinched okay. a little yeah. bit by the calcium or, the, mm. or by the valve, mm. you could have left the stand okay. out and just yeah. pull I'll be careful the next time. <laughs> Thank so. you for your comment. <laughs> and okay. still, but you can perfect, see some, uh, some PVL in the 11 o'clock, and the stent yeah. is uh, not circular, it's elliptical. And uh, let me show you that the, the, en the fluoroscopy from the one side to another, T jump edge of the yeah. So we have a very mild PVL, but the, I'm worrying about the stand expansion. Should, yeah. Yeah, if it is uh, available, yeah. the, uh, I, I'd like to the, hear the, the evaluation of the, the, the imaging specialist because this yeah. is uh, the real type zero, yeah. the uh, bicuspid valve, so the how Circular expansion yeah. using uh, the subject yeah. and the, the degree of the right. probable leakage is uh, very important. Right. So, actually, I this saw comment about yeah. the, from the, the imaging specialist. Yeah, actually, I saw the uh, elliptical stent in the short axis view of the TE. That's what I checked the NGO. To the lower, are it job? And now the yeah. geographical appearance is perfect. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Elliptical. But uh, I'm not sure this we is a perpendicular, so a perpendicular color, image. Color doppler, please. You can see uh, some, yeah. And Silence the from the imaging specialist. Please hmm? comment about <laughs> it. <laughs> Actually, we have no echo specialist now, so he's leaving for another symposium. <laughs> he left. <laughs> she left, actually. Echo uh, So, actually, uh, I prefer to... Come on? Uh, one cc. Yeah, one cc. Yeah, just, uh, I like to do the balloon again with uh, just 0%. Uh, 0% balloon, so I can this do... This is a bicuspid bell. Yeah. Bicuspid bell. But as That's you know, the sapient valve, the valve is inside of the inside of uh, the inside of the the valve. So I, I think the circular morphology is kind of more important than core valve. So just one mil over one, one mil. Yes, it's, it's a nominal size. Okay. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. Facing on, inflate, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, deflate, pass it off, okay, yeah. So suction valve, we can use the underfill, overfill, so that's the beauty of the balloon expandable valve nowadays. Okay, echo. Hopefully, this case is, uh, uh, might be uh, the 
severity of the calcium is uh, not so severe right. compared to the, the other bicuspid valve with heavy calcium. So sort of but uh, I think bit. the key didn't cut the very uh, perpendicular uh, yeah, sure. images. So we check the injury. No, yeah. I think it depends on the, the yeah. specialty of the. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Sure. So during balloon, actually, you can see the uh, stent is expanded. Is it Angel, Angel on the screen, please. Angel on the screen. And the T shows the uh, little bit uh, disappear. Yeah. The, uh, okay. Angle. During inflation, you can see the movement of a stand frame. Okay, it's expanded. Yeah, this then, is very nice. Then very nice. recoil. And it I was think very that nice, you can see in the echo, so even without being a yeah. specialist, yeah. that the small AI disappeared as well mm -hmm. yeah. in the short so, axis. But the expanded and the recoil, so I think this is the best we can do. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now sure. I like to uh, finish the procedure. So remove the, uh, the long uh, and wire. wire. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Pick Kwon, I'm yeah. very sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah. We are running a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we're going to uh, sure. go down half the uh, final Dr. one. Can you summarize your case? Yeah, summarize with angiography. Ready? Okay. Sure. Yeah, very mild, nearly yeah, negligible yeah. PVL. Yes. Okay, this is my summary of this case. This is my I learned Excellent. a lot. Excellent. I learned a lot about <laughs> Congratulations okay. for Thank the success of the case. It's a very educational. Actually, uh, this is the last slide demonstration, and uh, as a director of the Angkor Soul, I really appreciate all your efforts and all your participation. And I learned a lot, and hope you learned a lot too. So, see you next year in 2019. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We learned a lot today. We are going to Pundang.